your who is it says that it was created July 11, 2006. So it means that it would expire July 11th every single year. There Boy, else. it expired July 12th, July 10th. Okay. okay so I'm, I'm not. not then, I'm not. I'm not going to go into that. Please okay? explain to me. Please explain to me then how. I it, told you that I can't. I don't yeah. know what happened once it left your account. I don't but how, know. Why did it leave my account early, though? With you how because, Koi, it, it did not leave your account early. As I stated, we're not going to keep going over this. I will I will disconnect the call unless you have anything I'm new to your, talk about. I'm looking at your website. Who, your, your website is who is. It says it was created July 11, 2006. Why did it leave my, web, my account on July 10th? I'm looking at your website, and it tells me July 11, 2006. I cannot answer that question. This domain name is not owned by you anymore for but me I'm to asking, see well, the timestamp on when it moved into that customer's account. But I'm not okay? asking you when it moved into that customer's account. I'm asking you when it moved out of my account. And so, I advised you of that multiple times, and so did Mike. But that doesn't I'm not that sure that, why that we're doesn't going up. over that. Because it doesn't add because okay, how well, the domain it, expired on 710. 43 days later, on 821, but how did it, expire it was removed from your account. How, why did it expire? It was created on 711. Okay, it wasn't created on 711. And I told you if you wanted proof of that within your I'm, account I'm, to see I'm the date at, of when I'm, you purchased it, you can go into your receipts and see when you made this purchase back in 2006. Okay. We keep